Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to show you five hidden brain work features that every blogger needs. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the Nova chat that exists in the blog editor. First, you can find the Nova chat right below the assistant feature. If you go right below the assistant, you'll see the Nova chat. So you click on chat and then the Nova chat will show up. And you have a lot of different things you can do in the Nova chat. All your suggested prompts, all your save prompts, your chat history here, and also your settings. First thing I always recommend is to turn on the smart web navigator. That way you can get real time information and also tell Nova chat to look in the editor. Right now, if I started chatting with Nova, it would not see what's in here in my editors. Based on the use case, if you're doing a research outside of this article, then I would not look in the editor. But if you want to be able to chat with the information on the screen, ask questions, change different information, then I would turn on look in editor. Let me turn that on now. All right, so now that I'm looking in the editor, I can ask Nova Chat to take this article and turn it into a YouTube script. I'll add that prompt here. You can see here that it gave me a complete full YouTube script beginning to end. Now I can tell it to write me a, create a tweet from this article and I can say, and make it fun. All right, here's my tweet here. And I can even say, write a newsletter from this article, or I can say, write the conclusion in French. All right, so I wrote the conclusion in French. Now let's take a look at the suggested prompts and how I can use them in the chat. Let me say, what are three other keywords this article can work? Sorry, can. Let's see. So you see how cool this is. So I can ask this question, get those other keywords and also get the monthly search volume, search intent, and also uh, the difficulty. And this is all possible because I have the smart web navigator. And again, I can ask tons of questions. I can ask the AI to translate this, change it into different languages, rewrite the introduction, include different listicles. I can fact check right within the chat and I can do tons of other things. Then here, if I actually like a particular prompt that I wrote, I can actually click this button here and, and it will add it to my favorite. So if you click this button, uh, add it to your favorites and uh, you'll be able to access those within my favorite prompts right here where it says favorite prompt. The next hidden feature that I, I will demonstrate is our AI commands feature, which works similar to the chat, but you're actually asking the AI to do certain things within the editor. I can write here, write a short and fun Facebook post about this part and then I would highlight it and then I could click on the command feature. Now, if I keep the command like this, the command can look at the entire editor, whatever is above the command and the AI can look at it and use that as context. But let's say that I wanted to write a command and have it ignore anything above. The command output three plus signs and then anything above here would be ignored. All right. So you see my Facebook post. Now another hidden feature. If I go back to my assistant, I can actually go into the AI writing tools and I go into my commands and I can actually go here, manage my commands and I can see a list of a lot of useful commands. And I can actually save my own commands here. I can click on add and add a command, and then I can go back and use it later. As you can see here, we have commands that we recommend that already exist. And also I have my own custom commands. These are my customs commands that I can go and edit. I can add, I can delete. 
So you can add tons of commands and be able to use them, insert them in the editor and, and do a lot of things with them. And also you can use these same commands and the chat as well. You can save your commands and the manager command. And, and also you can save your commands or prompt within the chat itself. The next hidden feature that I'd like to show you is our fact checker. For example, let's say I have a, a piece of content that's written that I want to check if it's factual or just get some more detailed information about it to determine if it's factual, if it's in between the lines and things like that. So let's say I, uh, let's find a piece of content that I would want to double check on here. Okay. So this is good. So here's a piece of content. Let me see. So let me highlight this and let me go fact check that. As you can see, the AI has fact checked that information. This is telling me there's no correction needed. It's factual. It's giving me the reasoning. There's no errors and it's providing the evidence. And if you click on the drop down, uh, you'll see the sources as well. That's the fact checker. That's a feature that you may want to use based on the article that you're writing. And the fact checker is available if you have the smart web navigator on your plan. The next feature I want to show you is another feature that's going to save you a lot of time when formatting your article. For example, let me close this here. All right. Let's say I had all these paragraphs all bunched up. I'll just bunch all these paragraphs up. I'm just going to take this, even though this doesn't make any sense. I'll just bunch it all, all together. What I can do is I can highlight all this text and also I can highlight the full article if I wanted to, but in this case, I'm not going to do that because it's already been spaced out pretty well, but I can highlight, click on more uh, and you'll see this spacer button here. And if you click on that, you'll see that it'll automatically space out the article for you so that uh, you don't have to go through each sentence and space it out yourself. The last thing that I'm going to show you as far as brainwork hidden features is our keyboard analyzer, which exists within the editor itself. If you go into the keyword tab and click on the I button, you'll be able to get keyword information up about that keyword right there. You can get all the questions, keyword ideas, trends, volume, competition, and difficulty and all that right there. Again, it exists here too, but you can actually get more details here. And also if you have the smart web navigator, you can click on explain keyword data here and the AI will give you more information about that keywords. That's easier to understand. So if I click on the red button, uh, you'll see more detailed information on that keyword and a consensus of how can I use that keyword? Should I write about that keyword and things like that. Now. I'm going to share with you a few bonus tips. One hidden feature is sometimes like when you're writing content using the write more button, the AI may repeat information or get stuck because it doesn't have enough context or it doesn't understand the flow you like to take. In that case, I would like you to use transition words to help the AI understand the flow of the article and to help the article flow better. In order to access these transition words, if you right click and go into the last section of the drop down, you'll see transition words like addition, post transition words, results, conditionals, time description, and conclusions. Based on where you are in the article, you can use that to help the AI flow and and help it write easier and, and help the article flow much better. For example, I can right click right here, click on transition word, and I, let's pick anything. I can click on then, for example, it would add that transition word there. And then um, I could use the write more button. For example, let's say I go into the instructions. Let's keep it short and uh, let me click on that. You can see how on the AI takes that word and continues uh, that section with that information.
Now, I would probably not have this happy travels there. Let me remove that. The last bonus tip, if you write an article using the first draft pro, you might have selected a lot of additional things that you want the AI to include, like titles, meta descriptions, image, alt text. In order to get that information, you would go into the SEO tab, scroll to the bottom. Let me close these. Now I have my FAQs here, so I can click on the plus button and I can add the FAQ right here where the cursor is, and then I can highlight it, you know, make it a H2, H3, or whatever heading that I want to make it. And you can see all the sources that I selected in the first draft pro to be here. Title suggestions, I can take those title suggestions and add them up in my title if I want to change the title. My meta description is here. This is where the additional content that I wanted, the FAQs, the sources, the title suggestions, the meta descriptions, this is where those exist. Those exist in the SEO tab. I hope this video has been very helpful for you. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at brainwork.com. Thanks for using Brainwork.